Hello everybody, I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive and today's video is sponsored by Bosch. So we're gonna be talking ignition coils. So I'm gonna walk you through some basic diagnostic techniques for checking out Toyota ignition coils. And so I'm gonna walk you through in the next few clips on uh, how to diagnose, how to determine, you know, if you got a bad ignition coil, if you, uh, and, but this is gonna be done in a simple way. We're not gonna use lap scopes or anything. This is gonna be done in a, in a way that the average person can check their car with very minimal tools and determine if their ignition coil is bad or not and if they need to replace it. I'd like to thank Bosch for supplying the parts of this video. One of the first steps you want to do is pull the codes if you have access to a scan tool. After reading the code, you can clear the codes. So I'm going to give you some tips on if you have P300 codes, which are misfire codes, and also igniter codes. So one of the first steps is to do visual inspections of all the plug connectors. Uh, I like to check to make sure they're not loose and also check that the wires have not backed out of the plugs itself. Next I'll unbolt the coil that I suspect is giving us the problem and I'll pull it out and give it a good inspection. I'll also look into the ports where the spark plugs go into and check that the valve cover is not leaking oil into the tube seals. Then I'll do a visual inspection of the coil itself so I'm going to look for cracks. I'm going to look for uh, burn marks on it. And I'm going to look for any indication that the coil is arcing off through the side or anything like that. So if I suspect that there's no spark at all coming out of a coil, I'll verify it with a spark tester. So you'll just install it down in the tube seal like this. Then the spark tester will plug into this adapter. And then once you get this adapter plugged in, then you'll plug the other end into the ignition coil itself. And you'll crank the car or start the car and you'll check the light for a spark. Uh, these adapt these tools are only about 25 bucks at, at most and uh, they're very handy for checking for spark another technique is to take one coil and swap it with a known good coil and see if the problem switches so on this car cylinder three was suspected being bad so we switched it over to cylinder two and then we started the car ran it and then the check engine light was reset and sure enough it moved to cylinder two so, so now i know that cylinder three that we moved over to cylinder two is bad and the computer and wiring is good. So if the problem had stayed on the same cylinder, then I would suspect wiring to the ignition coil and you may have an igniter code at that time. So then you would double check that the coil has its power and ground. Pull up a diagram, but it only shows two of the four wires that are going to it, but all four of them share the same power feed. So that would be one of your first quick checks is to check that it has power going to it. So I'm using a back probing T here and, and I'm back probing it and using a voltmeter and I'm checking the power supply going to the coil. And with the ignition switch on, I have 12 volts or battery voltage going to the coil. The other negative end is hooked up to the to ground on the battery terminal. You can also use a power probe to check that as a quick way to determine. And you can also hook the, the other end up to the ground there and you can ch check with the power probe to see if you have your ground. According to the diagram, the outside wire here is power all the time. This wire here is supplied by the PCM as ground all the time. This wire here is the control wire. You'll need a lab scope to check that. This wire here takes the circuitry inside and determines if the coil has fired. It sends a signal back to the PCM. So if it doesn't detect this, a fire, it will send a signal back to the PCM and set a check engine light. So a quick way to determine which cylinder is misfiring if you don't have a check engine is to unplug each one of the cylinders one at a time and listen for an RPM drop. And if you get to one and the RPM does not drop, that would indicate that is the cylinder that is misfiring. Using this technique will set igniter code, so you will need to clear the codes after doing this technique. So if you run across a coil that you suspect is giving you the problem, I recommend that you replace it with a quality part such as Bosch's ignition coils. For a lot of manufacturer, Bosch is the factory OEM ignition coil. So they're trusted by manufacturers all around the world. That's why I use them myself. The car in this video is a Toyota Camry with a 2.4 liter engine. I will put links for these coils in the description of the video along with some of the tools I use for testing. I recommend that if you have ignition coil issues, I recommend that you pick up a good quality ignition coil such as Bosch here. I'm Brian Nelson from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this, and also to remind you that experience is everything. Thank you again for watching.